Question 92.18. Questioner, turning, then, to my analogy or example of the newborn infant and its undistorted matrix of the mind. This newborn infant has its subconscious mind veiled from the matrix of the mind. The second archetype, the potentiator of the mind, is going to act at some time through the veil, though I hesitate to say through the veil since I don't think that is a very good way of stating it, but the potentiator of the mind will act to create a condition such as the example I mentioned of the infant touching a hot object. The hot object we could take as random catalyst. The infant can either leave its hand on the hot object or rapidly remove it. My question is, is the potentiator of the mind involved at all in this experience and, if so, how? Answer, I am Ra. The potentiator of mind and of body are both involved in the questing of the infant for new experience. The mind, body, spirit complex which is an infant has one highly developed portion which may be best studied by viewing the significators of mind and body. You notice we do not include the spirit. That portion of a mind, body, spirit complex is not reliably developed in each and every mind, body, spirit complex. Thusly the infant's significant self, which is the harvest of biases of all previous incarnational experiences, offers to this infant biases with which to meet new experience. However, the portion of the infant which may be articulated by the matrix of the mind is indeed unfed by experience and has the bias of reaching for this experience through free will just as intelligent energy in the kinetic phase, through free will, creates the logos. These sub sub logwa, then, or those portions of the mind, body, spirit complex which may be articulated by consideration of the potentiators of mind and body, through free will, choose to make alterations in their experiential continuum. The results of these experiments in novelty are then recorded in the portion of the mind and body articulated by the matrices thereof. Question 92.19 Questioner, are all activities that the entity has from the state of infancy a function of the potentiator of the mind? Answer, I am Ra. Firstly, although the functions of the mind are indeed paramount over those of the body, the body being the creature of the mind, certainly not all actions of a mind, body, spirit complex could be seen to be due to the potentiating qualities of the mind complex alone as the body and in some cases the spirit also potentiates action. Secondly, as a mind, body, spirit complex becomes aware of the process of spiritual evolution, more and more of the activities of the mind and body which precipitate activity are caused by those portions of the mind, body, spirit complex which are articulated by the archetypes of transformation. Question 92.20 Questioner, the matrix of the mind is depicted as a male on the card and the potentiator as female. Could Ra state why this is and how this affects these two archetypes? Answer, I am Ra. Firstly, as we have said, the matrix of the mind is attracted to the biological male and the potentiator of the mind to the biological female. Thusly in energy transfer the female is able to potentiate that which may be within the conscious mind of the male so that it may feel inspirited. In a more general sense, the which reaches may be seen as a male principle. That which awaits the reaching may be seen as a female principle. The richness of the male and female system of polarity is interesting and we would not comment further but suggest consideration by the student. Question 92.21 Questioner, in card number 2, the potentiator of the mind, we see a female seated on a rectangular block. She is veiled and sitting between two pillars which seem to be identically covered with drawings but one is much darker than the other. I am assuming that the veil represents the veil between the conscious and subconscious or matrix and potentiator of the mind. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is quite correct. Question 92.22 Questioner, I am assuming that she sits between the different colored columns, with the dark one on her left to indicate at this position an equal opportunity for the potentiation of the mind to be of a negative or positive nature. Would Ra comment on this? Answer, I am Ra. Although this is correct it is not as perceptive as the notice that the priestess, as this figure has been called, sits within a structure in which polarity, symbolized as you correctly noted by the light and dark pillars, is an integral and necessary part. The unfed mind has no polarity just as intelligent infinity has none. The nature of the sub-sub-sub-logos which offers the third density experience is one of polarity, 
not by choice but by careful design. We perceive an unclear statement. The polarity of potentiator is there not for the matrix to choose. It is there for the matrix to accept as given. Question 92.23 Questioner, in other words, this particular illusion has polarity as its foundation which might be represented by the structural significance of these columns. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 92.24 Questioner, it seems to me that the drawings on each of these columns are identical but that the left-hand column, that is the one on the priestess's left, has been shaded much darker indicating that the events and the experiences may be identical in the incarnation but may be approached, viewed, and utilized with either polarity. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. You will note also, from the symbol denoting spirit in manifestation upon each pillar, that the one infinite creator is no respecter of polarity but offers itself in full to all. Question 92.25 Questioner, there seems to be a book on the priestess's lap which is half hidden by a robot material that covers her right shoulder. It would seem that this indicates that knowledge is available if the veil is lifted but is not only hidden by the veil but is hidden partially by her very garment which she must somehow remove to become aware of the knowledge which she has available. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. In that the conceit of the volume was not originated by Ra we ask that you release the volume from its strictured form. Your perceptions are quite correct. The very nature of the feminine principle of mind which, in Ra's suggestion, was related specifically to what may be termed sanctified sexuality is, itself, without addition, the book which neither the feminine nor the male principle may use until the male principle has reached and penetrated in a symbolically sexual fashion, the inner secrets of this feminine principle. All robes, in this case indicating the outer garments of custom, shield these principles. Thusly there is great dynamic tension, if you will, betwixt the matrix and the potentiator of the mind. Question 92.26 Questioner, are there any other parts of this picture that were not given by Ra? Answer, I am Ra. The astrological symbols offered are not given by Ra. Question 92.27 Questioner, the fact that the priestess sits atop the rectangular block indicates to me that the potentiator of the mind has dominance or is above the material illusion. Is this in any way correct? Answer, I am Ra. Let us say, rather, that this figure is imminent, near at hand, shall we say, within all manifestation. The opportunities for the reaching to the potentiator are numerous. However, of itself the potentiator does not enter manifestation. Question 92.28. Questioner, would the half moon on the crown represent the receptivity of the subconscious mind? Answer, I am Ra. This symbol is not given by Ra but it is not distasteful for within your own culture the moon represents the feminine, the sun the masculine. Thusly we accept this portion as a portion of the image, for it seems without significant distortion. Question 92.29. Questioner, was the symbol on the front of the priestess's shirt given by Ra? Answer, I am Ra. The crux and zeta is the correct symbol. The addition and slight distortion of this symbol thereby is astrological and may be released from its stricture. Question 92.30 Questioner, would this crux and zeta then be indicating the sign of life as the spirit enlivening matter? Answer, I am Ra. This is quite correct. Moreover, it illuminates a concept which is a portion of the archetype which has to do with the continuation of the consciousness which is being potentiated, in incarnation, beyond incarnation. Question 92.31 Questioner, were the grapes depicted on the cloth over her shoulder of Ra's communication? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. Question 92.32 Questioner, we have those as indicating the fertility of the subconscious mind. Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct, O student, but know ye the function of the mantle. There is great protection given by the very character of potentiation. To bear fruit is a protective activity. Question 92.33 Questioner, the protection here seems to be depicted as being on the right hand side but not the left. 
Would this indicate that there is protection for the positive path but not for the negative? Answer, I am Ra. You perceive correctly an inborn bias offering to the seeing eye and listing here information concerning the choice of the more efficient polarity. We would at this time, as you may call it, suggest one more full query. Question 92.34 Questioner, I will attempt an example of the potentiator of the mind acting. As the infant gains time in incarnation would it experience the potentiator offering both positive and negative potential thoughts, shall I say, for the matrix to experience which then begin to accumulate in the matrix and color it one way or the other in polarity depending upon its continuing choice of that polarity? Is this in any way correct? Answer, I am Ra. Firstly, again may we distinguish between the archetypical mind and the process of incarnational experience of the mind-body-spirit complex. Secondly, each potentiation which has been reached for by the matrix is recorded by the matrix but experienced by the significator. The experience of the significator of this potentiated activity is of course dependent upon the acuity of its processes of catalyst and experience. May we ask if there are brief queries before we leave this instrument? Question 92.35 Questioner, is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. The support group is functioning well. The instrument, itself, might ponder some earlier words and consider their implications. We say this because the continued calling upon vital energies, if allowed to proceed to the end of the vital energy, will end this contact. There is not a need for continued calling upon these energies. The instrument must find the key to this riddle or face a growing loss of this particular service at this particular space-time nexus. All is well. The alignments are exemplary. I am Ra. I leave you, my friends, in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.